showing you how to make a blockbuster video store in Minecraft. And it does have an interior and I will show you how to make the inside today as well. So um, even though this may be a long tutorial, mainly due to my excessive talking, but yeah, it's got quite a bit going on in here, uh, and I will show you guys how to make the interior as well. So you're going to need a chest to hold all your materials, first of all. Uh, let me go ahead and um, zoom this out a little bit. Um, materials you're going to need, you're going to need, uh, at least right now, uh, you're going to need yellow concrete, blue concrete, white concrete, black stained glass, acacia door, smooth stone, yellow wool, gray concrete, and not gray wool, but... Um, yeah, actually, you know what? Just grab what you've already got right now. Uh, we'll leave everything else in the material, in the, not the materials, but in the, uh, chest. Uh, oh, and by the way, the grid you're gonna need is a 41 by 42 block area on the ground. I highly, highly, highly recommend making this grid. Um, what am I doing? I'm, like, trying to zoom in. There we go. Highly recommend making this grid, uh, if you're trying to make Blockbuster. Uh, if you're ma- or, well, ma basically, if you're trying to make this in a city, I highly recommend making this grid. Um... But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So you're going to take your gray concrete, you're going to come to the bottom left-hand corner, or the right-hand corner, because we're going to do this on both sides. And you're going to dig out four blocks right here at this part of the grid and uh, replace the, uh, and fill in the hole here with the uh, uh, red con or gray concrete, my goodness. So one, two, three, four, fill in with gray. You can actually go ahead and grab a uh, uh, grass block and dig out the rest of it, the grid in between and go ahead and fill up with the grass just like so and then let me just count the rows here but i think it's five wait one two three yeah it's five okay so then you're going to basically dig out um five rows hang on let me make sure i'm doing this right yep okay so you're going to dig out five rows behind everything you just made um so behind the grass you placed in the like bits of gray concrete you're basically going to dig out five rows and basically fill this all up with um, gray concrete. And yeah, so just dig all that out, replace with gray concrete, and I will be back once I've done that. Okay guys, and once you have um, uh, filled all that up there, you wanna come to, again, either side of your grid. We're gonna do this on both sides. Uh, you're gonna see where we had the grid right here, right? Um, and I guess if you chose not to make the grid, it's basically like where this first row of gray concrete is right here, so above it right here. Uh, you're going to dig out seven blocks going up, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill it up with um, white concrete. And then go right by three. I don't know why I'm doing it in this direction, but... Um, well, I don't know why I was facing in that direction, but anyway. And then you're going to dig another row of seven going down and place white concrete. And again, you're going to do this on the same side, on the other side. And you're going to do this until you have four parking spaces. That's what this is supposed to be, by the way, four parking spaces. So you're basically going to do this... Three more times, so that is one. All right, so like I said, you know, uh, to the right by three, uh, fill in um, with the yellow wool, and then dig out a row seven to the ground. Or, well, not to the ground, but to the, like, gray concrete, basically. And then fill in with white concrete, so pretty simple. And then just one more time. Um, this is probably the least fun part of this whole tutorial is doing the parking lot, to be fair. Um, oh, and then, yeah, you want to do this on the other side as well. So, like I said, very end here with the blue, where the blue, like where the grid is, basically, you're going to dig up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and fill in with white concrete, and extend over, um, with the yellow wool, and then, you know, by three, and then, um, white concrete down to the gray concrete. Or white concrete under the great concrete. I'm so dumb. But anyway. Um, yeah, so then you literally just do this till you have four on both sides. And then you literally want to dig out the grass in between the white concrete and fill it in. Uh, well, dig out the grass in between the white concrete and then fill it in with... Uh, um, yeah, but basically... Um, sorry, that's... I, I, okay, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, guys. I'm stupid as a heck, but... Yeah, so once you have all of that, basically, uh, you want to dig out in between the spaces and you want to put smooth stone. So, yeah, I'm actually not going to put the smooth stone right now because I don't want this tutorial to be super long. Uh, but basically, yeah, you just dig out all between the spaces and fill that all in with smooth stone. And then you want to dig out um, all the uh, between all the spaces like this and fill in with gray concrete. And you want to do that for all the other spaces. And then for in here, like I said, smooth stone, 
all in there. Um, and yeah, I'll be right back once I've done that. All right, guys, and once you have um, filled up all of that and dug all that out and filled it up, you also want to dig out three rows um, behind the parking spaces and also this little, like, this is basically, like, I guess a path, really. No, it's not, it's a little too thick to be a path, I'd say. Just, but whatever, we're going to call it a path anyway. <laughs> and you basically, yeah, again, three rows behind everything you just made and fill it all in with smooth stone. Uh, pause the video if you need to, but once you have done that, um, we're going to start making the building, so... Basically, what you're gonna want to do is, um, you want to do okay. So let me see what you got. What we got here? So one, two, three, four. Okay. So we're gonna just start off. We're gonna come to uh, these two um, spaces, these two end spaces here. So the space and this space, um, the white concrete uh, from this space and the white concrete from this space. You're basically gonna go um, up to this like row of. Um, what is this? You guys know what I'm talking about. And then one, two, three, four um, rows of white concrete on top of that. So from this right, like from so far, so if you've, if you've, so if you've just done the, from the, yeah, just so from here and then to here, one, two, three, four. Yeah, you guys, you guys can pretty much see. Yeah, I wanna extend those back by one. Um, Cause that's how we're gonna like put in the windows basically. Um. And then once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and grab your uh, your gray wool for this one. If I can find it, there it is. Um, and uh, yeah, if you want to, you can actually um, like between these two rows of um, white concrete that we made, go ahead and just kind of dig out a row and put. Um, uh, and also behind uh, this uh, gray concrete as well. Not where the grid is though, because that's where a wall's gonna go, so that's kind of pointless, but. Yeah, you can go ahead and dig out like a row behind all the smooth stone, uh, except for in the, um, you know, at the grid, um, and just put some um, gray um, wool where we have these first, the spaces on the end here, you wanna put three, and then three, three at the ends there like so, and then you wanna go ahead and just extend them up by three, so that's, one, two, and three, just like that. And you wanna do the same thing on the other side. One, two, and three, just like that. And you can actually go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and fill up the right the, the right sides and the back walls um, of the building, just as high as these like rows of three on the ends here. So you basically wanna wrap this all the way around the grid uh, and you wanna extend this all up by like um, by three as we did like with these sides on the front uh, so if you guys know what I mean it's so, like well uh, these end these like rows of three that we added on the ends you can go ahead and wrap them around the entire like um, like trace them along the grid basically um, and that's how you'll make the walls the bottom half of the walls at least and yeah I'll just be right I'll be right back once I've done all that okay guys uh, once you have extended those walls around the building, so where we have these two like ends here, um, like with these two ends of white concrete, let's go ahead and zoom this out a bit, sorry about that. Uh, you want to go ahead and actually extend them up by one, and but then also extend them a block forward and then connect in the middle, like, or well, connect, basically connect them, yeah, so. And then extend up by six, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then just fill in the front here, like so, with the white concrete and then you also kind of want to extend it back as well what i mean by that is uh, well not exactly extend it back but just fill in these like ends here like extend them up to the top uh, and you can actually go ahead and uh, fill in the top of this as well um uh, so yeah that's so what you want to have right there where we have the um um you know what this says gray wool you want to go ahead and fill this up with glass going all the way up to the top and you can actually go ahead and fill this up at, right up here right above the windows here so yeah so then just so extend so make sure you have four rows of glass in there just like that um and then you want to do the same thing uh for the sides here so oh what am i doing you basically want to um fill this all up here on top of this gray wool up with um uh, make sure these are like these the glass is four rows high so it's as, as high as the walls on around the like sides and back of the building. Uh, and I won't cut this part out because it really will only take a couple seconds. Um, well, of course it won't take me a couple seconds, <laughs> basically. But anyway, yeah, so once you have uh, done that, so above the windows, you wanna go ahead and put, uh, so yeah, actually, yeah, go ahead and put another 
layer of white concrete all along the walls here just like this um and then uh once you have done that um ugh, excuse me my voice is like trying to stop itself again if you guys don't know my voice for some reason likes to legit stop itself it's kind of annoying uh, and then you can go ahead and put blue concrete uh like in front of the white concrete row you just placed and just have that going all the way around um the entire building What's nice about this city build is that there's no banner letters needed, so that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, I think that's definitely a really cool part of uh, part of this. Um, and then you want to go ahead and extend this whole like blue that you wrap that you're wrapping around the building up by two rows, and then I'll pretty much I'll do that once I yeah I'll, I'll be back once I'm done. All right, guys. Once you have wrapped the blue all the way around uh, the building. Like so, I'm just gonna kind of do a pam around uh, here, just so you guys or pan around. I said pam around. That was dumb. Anyway, you guys know what I mean. So basically, once you've done that, on the right side, this is gonna be on the bottom like row of blue, right? You're gonna leave a gap of two. You're gonna dig out seven blocks. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fill in with yellow concrete, and you do not do this on the same the other side. Like you don't do two gaps here. On the left side, you want to do a gap of three, and then do seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna leave a gap of one, and then dig out four blocks, and then that's gonna be where you put um, the word video. Well, not exactly the word video, but it's kind of meant to be the word video. But yeah, it's just four rows of uh, white con or yellow concrete. God, I'm like colorblind, guys. Um, and yeah, that's, that's meant to spell out like blockbuster video. Um, just like that. Um, so now, uh, let's actually go ahead and, okay, actually, before we do that, you want to go ahead and come down here, dig out these two middle blocks like that, and then just put doors. Forgot to mention that. Let's go ahead and make the logo. So we're going to come to this big white, fr um, um, space here, basically. You're going to leave a gap of one from both sides here and basically make a row of yellow just like that. Um, from the left side here, you're gonna leave a gap of one, extend the yellow up by one, but then on the very end here, you wanna extend up by one with the yellow like that. Uh, you can go ahead and put blue concrete in between just like so. Next, um, on, let's, so on top of this row of blue concrete, on the very end here, you wanna just put a yellow concrete and then from there, uh, you want to put a row of blue uh, also going on top of the yellow concrete here. And then beside it, you want to go ahead and do a yellow concrete at the end there like so. And then um, for this next row on the top of this exact blue concrete right here, you want to do a yellow concrete. Uh, and then you want to do another row of blue that goes um, above this row, like yellow block right here, like, like that yellow block right there. And then you want to do a yellow concrete at the end and then basically just top this off uh, with a row of yellow and then extend this like yellow like at the end like that. So you guys can pretty much see how that turns out hopefully. Hopefully you guys were able to understand that. Um, if you didn't just like rewind the video. Um, hopefully I explained it good enough. But, but there you go. There's the Blockbuster logo. So now what you want to do next is... Um, like above and behind this blue. So we see where I have the blue here, right? So it's like behind and above, you want to go ahead and do two rows of white going all the way around. So make sure it stays like inside and above the blue, if you guys know what I mean. So it just kind of like, yeah, I don't know how, to, I don't know if there's a technical phrase, like word for that. If you guys know what I'm, hopefully you guys just, oh my gosh, how the heck did that happen? I swear, there's a glitch with Minecraft, like when I'm placing blocks and it straight up like deletes them automatically as if I never placed them. It was so weird. Um, and it's just after Minecraft did like a big bug fix, fix too, and I swear they did a terrible job. Anyway, guys, yeah, and you want to do two rows of white and then just top it all off with a uh, row of blue, and then I'll be back once I'm done with that. All right, guys, once you have um, made like your second layer of the walls, that's basically what I told you to do there, the two rows of white and then the blue. Uh, you want to take the ends of the blue that are like to this like part, like where the logo is. These are ends of blue right here, you want to go ahead and extend all the way to the end. And uh, you want to do this right here as well. You want to go ahead and extend all the way to the end. Because that's the reason we're doing that is so we can extend the logo. Actually, it wants to be extended back like this. Um, yeah, just all the way back. All right. 
and um, as you guys can see, that's kind of that's gonna start to look a lot better. All right, and then you actually want to go ahead and extend. Oh yeah, so actually where we have this part with the like, so where we have this row of white concrete they extended down, you actually want to go ahead and delete all this blue right here, just as much as like where the white concrete is there. Hopefully you guys understand what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, you guys can pretty much see like that where that white concrete is. You want to take out that blue that was right there. Um, and then you can go ahead and extend this forward. Um, and then you can go ahead and extend it all the way down just like so. And then um, let me make sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And then just go ahead and extend it down. And then um, like where the blue is right here. Oh, goodness. Uh, you want to go ahead and extend out another row. The bottom part here, you can just go ahead and fill up here, like so, like the bottom of this. So, like everything, like here, that's below, like where the blue is, uh, like right here, you can go ahead and fill up. But like, like so, like where you see where you have the bottom half of the blue, uh, like the very bottom row of the blue here, and then we have like where this big, like white, like tower basically comes in here. It's where you want to put an extra row, like outward of like white concrete, kind of like this. So it's supposed to kind of match the front a little bit. Um, and then you just want to go ahead and fill this up. Just like that. Um, and then that's, yeah, that's basically how that plays out. So literally your last step to finishing the outside of the blockbuster is to fill this middle part in with white concrete at the top. And then the sides want to be filled in with blue concrete. And not only that, you want to completely dig out the entire floor, all this grass, with uh, gray wool. So middle part wants to be filled in with white concrete. The sides want to be filled in at, at the top, of course, uh, with the blue concrete. And then dig out the floor and put gray wool. That's quite a lot, um, but trust me, it'll, it'll, it won't take you like too, too long, hopefully. So yeah, <laughs> um, I'll be right back once I've done all of that. All right, everyone. So once you have um the ceiling, the roof uh filled in there like so, and then once you have the floor also filled in, if you guys can see, um, but yeah, once you have all that filled in, but before we actually do um the inside, we're actually gonna go ahead and fill up the walls here. So what you're gonna want to do here, uh, what I mean by that is we're actually gonna want a we're gonna have a different color for the walls instead of just have it white. We're gonna have a blue terracotta. So you're just gonna basically go ahead. Um, okay, so actually put a row of uh, yellow concrete like we're like above the entrance and the windows and then just have it wrapped around the entire inside here just like so. And it's gonna be pretty dark. So if you can't see, I recommend you use some night vision um, potion, but you know, if you can see just fine, then you know, it shouldn't because I mean, there is a lot of natural light at the front, so it shouldn't be too bad. But if you guys really can't see, then you can just grab some night vision. Uh, and then you actually want to go ahead, I think you want to go ahead and put, um, no, okay, I was going to say you want to put a second row, but the ceiling is going to be covering it, so it's kind of pointless. Or, well, I, I mean, then again, you do need to add the ceiling, so I suppose you might want to go ahead and do that. I mean, you're not going to see this row of yellow anyways, so this row of yellow, you can pretty much don't even have to put yellow, you can just put whatever, because the ceiling is going to be covering it completely, so you won't be able to see it. Um, but yes, uh, then once you have done that, you want to go ahead and just put blue terracotta along the walls, obviously, except for the windows. But the windows, we will put an extra layer of glass just to completely smooth it off. Um, but yes, just along all the walls here, you want to go ahead and just put blue terracotta. Um, just cr It just creates a nice warm uh, an interior. And, and a lot of Blockbuster interiors had like yellow or blue walls. So that's exactly why I have this. But yeah, you want to just go ahead and just completely fill up the walls here um, below the yellow concrete with uh, the blue terracotta. Um, I recommend blue terracotta and not blue concrete just cause there's gonna be a lot of blue like concrete in this building anyways. So the blue terracotta just provides a contrast sort of in terms of like the texture. Um, but yes, if we just fill all this up like so and then right about here, uh, and then we'll go ahead and um, grab our blo block your your black stained glass uh, and go ahead and put black stained glass along the windows. Go ahead and kind of again smooth off the interior here, like the walls. Just want to go ahead and do that. Uh, and then you can also go ahead and do this to the entrance as well, um, just like so. Uh, so pretty simple. 
oops and and there you go that's pretty much how you do that and then basically what you want to do is uh this top row here uh, this very top row you want to go ahead and just wrap some chiseled quartz um around here for the ceiling and then we're of course going to put the lights in so i should probably grab back my sea lanterns so from the so at the back and the front of the store you basically want to get rid of this like row of chiseled quartz just like so and then okay there we go okay i need to do uh like uh, instead of gaps of two we're just gonna do like gaps of one um yeah we're just gonna do gaps of one honestly at this point so yeah so just do gaps of one instead of gaps of two the actual interior has gaps of two i don't know what's going on with it but yeah basically yeah all right so yeah so yeah just extend all these rows of um just of course to the end and then obviously in between you would put sea lanterns and then that will completely fill up the ceiling uh, okay everyone so once you have uh the lights put in um also you may notice the window glare yes i'm actually recording this on a completely different day it's actually the next day uh, cause I had attempted the interior tutorial pr prior, but it did not go well, so I didn't want to obviously put that in for you guys, so. Also, about these lines and stuff, um, you know, don't make, don't worry about any of these lines, this is all for me, um, just cause if I don't add any of these lines, then I'm not gonna know what the heck I'm doing, so. Um, which is why I messed up on that other tutorial, or on the other, like, interior tutorial, which you guys will never see, cause I deleted it, but. Yeah, so, basically what you're gonna wanna do, once you have your lights in, you want to go ahead um you can see where we have the entrance right here guys oh and by the way the materials you're gonna need um for the interior for right now at least uh chisel deep slate um yeah chisel deep slate bookshelf deep slate tile stairs warped stairs warped planks blue terracotta yellow concrete blue concrete and birchwood planks so those were what you're gonna need for the interior now so so starting at the entrance we have the big glass entrance right here you're gonna want to leave a gap of two from the entrance and then dig an entire row um out 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 of the the carpet basically as long as this entrance right here so from this so literally as long as the yeah you guys can pretty much see and then you want to extend the row back by one two three four five six you want to dig six more rows uh, behind the first row you made and then once you have done that you want to go ahead and just fill the entire thing up with birch planks this is of course for the uh, counter that we're gonna make right here so um yeah, and then once you have done that, you want to take your blue concrete and basically put a row, uh, a square of blue concrete in this birch planks area. Um, that's like, and make sure the entire thing is one block away from the end all the way around. And once you have done that, uh, you want to go ahead and uh, on the sides here in the very middle, you should be able to be able to locate the middle. Uh, you want to dig out the blocks there. Those are going to be for the trap doors so you can get behind the counter. Um, and yeah, we'll work on the counter later, but right now we need to add bookshelves. So before we add the bookshelves, I want you guys to go ahead and actually extend the corners like this, like make the like corners filled up like that. It's just going to be a whole lot easier when making the bookshelves. So just make sure to do the, to those back corners only. Uh, and then we can actually go ahead and start, um, uh, putting deep slate. Uh, we have to put the chisel deep slate first. It's going to be a lot easier. So so on either side it really doesn't matter what side you start on you want to come to the very like like front corner of the store and yeah again sorry about my window glare i need i really need to get curtains uh you want to do one two uh, i'm going to try to build around the window glare and then i think it's yeah three rows up no it's four rows up no no i think it is no i, I think it is three rows up okay and then once you've done that, you want to go ahead and um, fill in, um, actually wait, no, we need to put the deep slate first. So chisel deep slate, uh, three chisel deep slate around the corner like that. Uh, you want to do the same thing on this other side. So three chisel deep slate on the, on the corner like that. And then, and then right there as well in that corner. So on each of the corners, you want to put chisel deep slate and then you can add the bookshelves. So I wasn't supposed, we weren't supposed to add the bookshelves until we got the chisel deep slate in there. Um, I just want to double check and make sure that we're actually making those shelves the right height. I don't know why, but I literally forgot how high to make these shelves. Okay, yes, we are doing it right. Awesome. All right. Um, oh, and actually, I think this actually wants to be, this part actually wants to be yellow. But I'm going to leave that choice up to you. If you want this, like, this, this, this row right here to actually be yellow or if you want it to be blue, 
Um, I'm actually gonna make it yellow because that's how I had it on the original. And honestly, I like it better in yellow, but you can leave it blue if you want. Um, it's not a mistake, it's actually optional. Um, but I think I like it better in yellow, so I'm just gonna um, do the yellow concrete. But uh, so yeah, if you wanna do if you wanna do the yellow concrete for this and you literally just do what I'm doing, just kind of dig out these rows here, this entire row here and just replace with yellow concrete. But if you want to keep it, then obviously don't worry about it. Just if you want to keep it blue, um, again, don't worry about it. It's not a mistake. Like I said, it's just an optional thing. Um, again, sorry about my window glare. I'm tired of having to say that. But okay, and then literally just um, on the sides here between the chisel deep slate, just put the three rows of bookshelf. These are, of course, movies um, as they're, you know, as you know, you may have guessed. <laughs> um, okay, and then for the... Um, all right, and then for the sides here on the far, well, I guess for the back here, you wanna extend the bookshelves from the Chisel Deep Slate until they are exactly one block away from where the TVs are gonna go. These are TVs, by the way. Um, don't put these yet. These are, again, just for me to figure out where they are. So yeah, so extend the bookshelves until they're exactly one block away from the TV. So if you guys, of course, you guys have no idea where that's at, I just realized. So it is basically, if you're at the back wall here, it is in line with, if we just move across here, this first, um, row of glass. So it's in line with this first row glass uh, on this back wall. So that's as far as you want the bookshelves to go. So yeah, sorry. I should have realized that you guys didn't even know what I was talking about as far as the TVs. Yeah, see, that's how stupid I am, guys. So yeah. Um, yeah, because I just realized you guys don't have the TVs on the wall. So that was probably very confusing. I'm so sorry about that. But yeah, again, just as far as it's, uh, as far as this, um, like, first row of glass right here, closest to the entrance. And yeah, that's as far as you want to extend those shelves. Uh, and once you've done that, those are the, you know, majority of the shelves. Um, so now we're going to make um, the single shelves here. Um, so the way we're going to do this, uh, from the back shelves here, you want to literally, um, so from the back, you want to leave a gap of four. Um, in the original, it's a gap of three. It's because we made the back of the building too big, but it really doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, a gap of four. Honestly, honestly, to be honest here, there honestly needs to be more room. Uh, on the back here because as you, as you guys know we messed up on the ceiling um, But there really should be more space on the back. So honestly, I think we made the building a lot better. So good That's a uh, that's good at least. But yeah, you want to leave a gap of four from the bookshelf So from the end of this bookshelf here leave a gap of four and then put two chisel deep slate and then a deep slate tile stairs on the back facing the other um, bookshelves and then you want to put from there, you want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bookshelf. And then you want to put two more bookshelf on top. Behind that, you want to put two chisel deep slate and then deep slate tile um, on top right there. And then that's how you make the first shelf. And then you want to leave a gap of three going towards the front. And then you literally want to do the same thing. And it's literally the same exact length as this bookshelf. So you're literally making the exact same bookshelf, um, like or the exact same shelf, um, but just three rows away. All right, and then you want to do the same thing on this other side. So again, from this um, last row of bookshelves, you want to leave a gap of four going towards the front and then chisel deep slate, two chisel deep slate, and then deep slate tile stairs back facing the other bookshelves. Nine bookshelf, uh, I'm not even gonna, I don't have to count for this because I already have the marking here, but literally you guys just count up nine bookshelves, three rows of that, and then behind that chisel deep slate and deep slate tile stairs. Three gap, uh, gap of three going towards the front, chisel deep slate, deep slate tile stairs, nine bookshelf and then you know the dip the deep slate blocks on the other side of that and then there you go that's how you make those four shelves um so now we need to make the video game shelves so the video game shelves are exactly a gap of three so each cell uh each self uh shelf why am i saying self sorry guys each shelf is a gap of three from each other so leave a gap of three from the shelves you just made here um, except the, these shelves, um, we're gonna start, um, like from, uh, this part of the shelf right here. So it's like closest to these bookshelves. Um, we're gonna start at this cheat, like deep slate style row from the bookshelf. So again, gap of three, and then you're gonna put two warped planks with warp stairs on top, the back facing the other side of the store. This time you're gonna put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bookshelf, and then Extend up by two and then warped planks on the other side warp stairs and there you go pretty easy And then from there gap of three going towards the front and it's literally the exact same thing So the warp stairs seven bookshelf up by two and then um, Warped planks on the other side. So it's literally the exact same thing 
from there and then do the same thing on the other side so basically these um these shelves are literally just two blocks shorter than the other bookshelves and these are actually the video game shelves by the way because blockbuster used to have video games i don't know if you knew that um but yeah same thing on the other side so literally gap of three going from the other shelves two warped planks uh warped stairs back facing the other letters and then one two three four five six seven bookshelf um going um you know going to the other side of the store and then two warped planks on top warped stairs and then literally the exact same thing except gap of three um so yeah gap of three from that shelf and then um, the exact same thing so pretty simple um yeah so it's literally just a gap of three and doing the exact same thing so like you're kind of just repeating these and there you go guys that is all of the shelves completed so once you have all that done that is perfect okay so now we're going to kind of start uh we're going to go ahead and make these tables back here so the way you're going to want to do these is so we have this um space in the middle here uh, where the tvs are going to go all right so from the ends of the bookshelves right from the ends of the bookshelves you're going to leave a gap of so you're going to go like right by one two and then you're going to go down one two so from the book so from the right bookshelf here this right bookshelf one to go left right left by one two and then down two so right left uh, left two down two and then you're going to place a blue concrete uh, extend left down by two right by one up by two and then that's how you make the first table leave a gap of one and literally just make the exact same table so it's a like a two by six um table basically um, I know it's just blue concrete, but it's meant to be a table. <laughs> and then it's the exact same thing on the other side. So except instead of going left, you're going to go right. So right by two and then down by two. And then at this time, we're just going to put three blue concrete and then, yeah, but it's still the exact same table. We're just doing it in a different method. Um, gap of one, then you just make the same table. So pretty simple. These are meant to be the tables and these are going to have like movies on them that are like on sale. Cause I looked at blockbuster interiors and a lot of them had these like blue tables, um, that had like movies on sale. So I figured I'd make those, but yeah, so you're going to make those. And then once you've made those, um, I'm going to go ahead and, um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and make this top part here. So basically this top part is exact. So this part that's like extended down from the ceiling, um, this big part here is basically in line completely. It's the exact same shape as the desk here. So it's literally like, so for if you take the, each of the four corners, uh, with your blue terracotta, you're going to go up by like, you're literally just going to go up to the ceiling like this and then dig out a block and replace it with the blue terracotta. And you're going to do that for all the four corners. So just kind of go up, um, and then just dig out the blue terracotta and into the ceiling. Uh, so, I mean, you don't have to place these blocks, but you just kind of got to line it up from the, from the four corners up to the ceiling and dig it out and put a blue terracotta. And then, yeah, just the other thing, the other four corners. And once you have those foo, blue, the, the, oh my gosh, I really just said foo. <laughs> those four blue corners, uh, you want to in between them, dig out, um, the ceiling there and then just replace it with yellow like that. And then you're going to extend them down by two. Um, okay. Yeah. You didn't really have to dig them out. I just realized that. Wow. I'm so dumb. <laughs> wow. We, you didn't have to even dig those out, but yeah, you literally could have just, um, did this, like extend them down um but i suppose it was an easy way to uh you know kind of mark out like where it is so and i mean it really doesn't matter because you're not going to see it the you know it being dug out in there so it's almost like you never dug out into the ceiling in the first place but literally that's uh that's what you want to have right there i'm not sure what this is meant to be it's some sort of decoration thing um and yeah and that's pretty much all we can do with these materials as far as i know um yeah that's legit all we can do so uh, why don't we go ahead and go back to our chest and let's grab ourselves some new materials. So, uh, put away your, uh, oh, actually you do want to grab your yellow concrete. You we're going to need that. Uh, you're going to also need iron bars, um, blue banner. Um, you're going to need iron trap doors. Um, you're going to need scaffolding. Um, oh, you're going to need a uh, birch fence gate. You're going to need, um, you're going to need uh, light blue concrete, snowball, and item frames. And once you've grabbed all that, we're going to come back. Uh, well, you should get, you guys should already be in. Well, I, well, depending on where your chest is, you might want to come back into the store. Um, okay. So, so where the desk is, right? We have the desk on each of these corners here. You want to put a yellow concrete on either of these two corners. So you guys can see where I'm at. Um, those two corners right there. 
And then um, on the desk to the side, you want to put an open um, fence gate like that. And these are meant to be baskets. Like, so like if you were to rent like multiple movies at once, if you're trying to get multiple movies, but you don't want to carry them all like with your hands, you can get the baskets. Um, so yeah, once you got the baskets there, um, so where, okay, so where we have the video game shelves, um, you want to literally leave a gap of one from the video game shelves. Um, and I'm actually just going to grab gray wool to get rid of this blue concrete, but um, you're going to put two iron bars um, with an iron trap door on top, and then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So this is for all the video game shelves, by the way, so you're going to do this on the other side. So from the video game shelf, gap of one, um, uh, again, don't put the blue concrete there. Those are for me. Um, two iron bars and then iron trap door on top, just like that. And then you literally just want to put blue banners all around it. These are meant to be like um, blockbuster, like clothing, um, you know, like blockbuster merchandise. Uh, this is inspired by the, the like the last blockbuster because I looked at images and like the last blockbuster had like some clothing hung up. So I thought thought it would be nice just for some detail um, to add and also to add more to the store. So you know, gap of one for the video game shelves, like I said, and then just two iron bars, um, iron trap door, and then yeah, it's literally super easy these are again just clothing racks uh for the blockbuster like clothes um so pretty cool um so yeah um so we just do this all the way around and boom there we go we got some clothing and oops that's not meant to be there there we go uh okay so for these four blue tables you want to go ahead and put item frames on top of them because again these are these are going to be where the these are going to have books in them for like movies on sale so you want to just go ahead and put um, the item frames on top of there. All right, and now, um, so back here, um, you're gonna leave, uh, so you're gonna come in, it's like where this basket is right here, where we have this basket kind of in line with that, you're gonna leave a gap of one from the birch, or no, no, oh my goodness. Uh, you're gonna leave a gap of one from the birch, and then you're going to put um, three scaffolding like that, so, you guys can see it's in line with there and then basically extend right by two that's what i meant to do and then um i think you just extend up yeah you just extend up by one uh leave a gap of one from there and then put two light blue concrete uh with iron trap door on top in front of it item frame and snowball in the item frames that's meant to be an ice cream chest um so yeah and then yeah that's how you do that and uh yeah i think that's all the materials now we can uh, or well that's all we can do with these materials my bad so um, what you want to do next is you want to go ahead and grab, um, you want to go ahead and grab, okay, let's grab ourselves some red concrete. Let's grab, um, the crimson, crimson pressure plate and the, um, white stained glass tripwire hook. You're also going to need yourself some birch trap doors, a birch sign, warped sign, um, uh, books. We'll go ahead and grab those. And, uh, yeah, we'll grab some white shulker boxes, but of course we're going to need more than that, um, for this. So, all right, with your books, go ahead and fill in these item frames on these tables here. Again, these are meant to be movies on sale. Uh, I know this place is starting to look like a library, but it's just, it's, these are meant to be like movies. Um, so yeah, these are just throw those on there. And then, um, on the left, like on the, like the, uh, so on these sides right here, uh, you're going to put um, birch, uh, trap, um, signs, not trap doors, signs, birch signs. So on the sides here of these tables, um, you want to put, um, birch trap door like so. And then, yeah, you just want to do this, um, on either side of these, uh, little tables here. And yeah, this is again, just meant to be, um, uh, well, these are just for decoration. They're not meant to be anything. Uh, See, so yeah, I just on the sides here, like so. You want to just put the iron. Uh, why? Do, I can never. I can never say materials right. But yeah, um, the signs, and then these. That's those tables done basically. Next, uh, on this big top part right here in the yellow, you want to put warped sign on the bottom, like part of the yellow. So on the bottom or, or bottom row of the yellow, uh, between these, uh, like these four blue corners right here, basically. These are meant to be. Um, well. It's just another decoration piece. It was going to be the Blockbuster logo, but um, I figured just to make it a decoration piece. However, on the front of the baskets here, uh, that's what these are. Basically, you want to put warp sign, and those are meant to be like the block Blockbuster logo on the baskets. So that's what those are. Um, in these gaps that we made um, in the in the desk here, you want to just go ahead and fill the those up with the trap door um, so you can get behind the desk. Between the scaffolding and this ice cream chest here, you want to put um, red concrete white glass on top, crimson pressure, 
crimson pressure plate on top of that and then on front in the front of the red concrete one put trap wire hook and that is the uh gumball machine so that's a gumball machine this is like a candy shelf and then ice cream chest because if i look i looked in a lot of blockbuster interiors and they had like uh, all kinds of stuff so so what that is or those are um and then um in the corners of the inside of the uh the desk here um where the baskets are you want to go ahead and put um two white shulker boxes those are meant to be plastic bags um so yeah once you have those we are literally almost done guys we literally have to finish up the desk and we're literally done and that like literally that's it guys we're almost done so what you want to grab is you want to grab all three of the skulls um you want to grab yourself the uh, oh yeah you need blue carpet i forgot about that and then you need black concrete uh you're gonna need your um con can do it i don't can i i sound so dumb whatever that is you guys know what i'm talking about the sea pickle um oh and then the daylight sensors and i th think that's it yeah i think that's yeah yeah we if, we if we need something else we can always come back and grab it but i'm pretty sure that is literally it so okay to start off with your blue carpet you're gonna go ahead and in between each of the shelves you're literally just gonna put a row of blue carpet um it should be pretty simple like you know like right in the middle of the shelves because you know we left a gap of three so it's literally just the middle row should be pretty easy to spot um and obviously they're as long as the shelves um for the for, for, for the carpet to put between the um video game shelf and the regular shelf uh, you literally just want it as long as the regular shelf so it's going to go past the uh if you don't want it like that like if you just want it as long as the uh, uh the video game shelf then you can do that um i honestly think it looks better like that so definitely you know if you want to do that go for it but literally just between each of the shelves here and then um for the back shelves you just want to put two rows uh, instead of like one single row of blue carpet um because yeah obviously it's bigger back here so there's more space yeah and then literally the same thing on the other side uh, and this just provides more you know decoration more detail um just makes it look better um and it just kind of guides you through the shelves um so i just think it's a really nice detail um and then yeah so just yeah in between the shelves like i said you just want to go ahead and put the blue carpet um and yeah i mean yeah, once we've done that we can finish off the uh oh wait and we have to put the tvs as well i forgot about that so we have to put those but obviously we can just do that so black concrete um gap of one from the end of these shelves here uh you want to put three black concrete extend up and then other side um the bookshelf gap of one three black concrete extend up and there you go and that those are tvs um on the back there so i guess if i don't know why they have they would have tvs but um you know if you guys know then if you guys know then you guys can oh actually we uh we forgot a material and i figured we would and there's actually two materials we forgot so you can go ahead and put away your blue carpet um and you can grab your oh why don't we have Oh, why don't I have my andesite stairs? That's weird. But you want your um, oak sign. I'm just going to go ahead and grab the andesite stairs for the cash register. I completely forgot about that. Um, okay. Okay, for the cash register, uh, you want to come to the side here, to the, the end here. You want It might be easier to go inside the desk here. You want to leave a gap of one from the end, put a andesite stair. Uh, on the side of the edge of the table here, you want to put sea pickles. Um to the left of this cash register, whatever the heck this is. Or no, actually, you want to put a daylight sensor and then the little thing. I think that's how it goes. Hang on. Oh, my gosh, this is difficult. I think it, okay, I don't think it really matters, but I just want to make sure. Um, okay, yes, I'm doing it right, good. But it really doesn't matter. You can do it the other way if you want to. Like, you can have the daylight sensor here instead, but yeah. Uh, and you want to do this, uh, oh, and also behind the, uh, behind the cash register, you want to put a sign. That's meant to be like when the cash register types in your total, it'll show up on the screen for the customers to see. Okay, so you want to do this on the other side. So gap of one from the end, polish andesite stairs, um, to the right of the, to the, uh, to the right of the stairs, the sea pickle, to the left, daylight sensor, and then the, whatever that is. And then behind the stairs, you want to put a oak sign for, again, the little price screen. And that is the desk completed. So literally the last little thing we have to do is put the the skulls on top of this little, like on top of the scaffolding. So you can do this however you want. Um, I'm just gonna do it like that. Those are meant to be like little souvenirs. Uh, and then of course the candy shelf and all that. But uh, yeah, guys, that is the interior of Blockbuster 100% completed. Wow, uh, it looks really good in here, guys. Congratulations uh, on completing your Blockbuster. So yeah, the interior is complete, so that means the entire Blockbuster store is 100% completed. 
Guys, I am so proud of this thing. It looks so realistic and so good. Um, this will look good in any of your cities. Um, you know, Blockbuster was a huge part of my childhood and it's sad to see that, you know, it went out of business. Um, so yeah, if you want a, a really great piece of history in your cities, I highly recommend building this. It looks great, easy to, easy to build, fun to build. Um, this was honestly really fun to design uh, and fun to, you know, to make. So uh, I really do hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to conclude this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, and to turn on post notifications so you don't miss when another upload uh, or another awesome tutorial like this comes out. Um, but anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.